Good afternoon. This, uh, this morning I reset camp. I took down that big 20 by 13 tarp. As much as I love that tarp, and I love having that shelter, I didn't like the pole, all the cords. And uh, how about much effort is to set it up and take it down? That red fat fish so much easier to work with, and it gives me good shelter from the bugs. The open air tarp, I love the open air, but that also brings in, allows to come in, which you don't want to come in. Alright, with the fat fish, comes with these great anchor sticks. I love these things. With this hard pan, it's hard to twist it in there by hand. This tool you can also get. And... Oh, that was stupid. I thought I went the other way. Oh, because it was in backward mode from unwinding the other sticks. Anyhow, that's the assistance we need. All right, we're going to set up the fat fish. Done. I'm not going to use the tarp anymore. This is all I'm going to use from now on. Notice I'm not using the bag anymore. Um... And so keep it up there in my uh, rooftop cargo carrier. Um, the bag just becomes a liability. There's no way to do this and keep everything clean. All right, I'm opening it up to see where the doors are at. Whenever I start moving anything around, Phoenix gets excited. Not happy excited. Nervous excited. All right. Since some sides bow out, you can look at the floor and think you have enough walking room, but you got to allow enough room for that bow out. I'm going to have to move the table some that way. No wind. And i got a tight centering spot here. Basically begin with pulling out of sight. And then work your way around. And that's going to provide us shelter from those damn yellow flies. See what I'm talking about? That side right there. Okay. There's always parts of the setup you don't plan on. Yes, that's good. And that sure beats hammering your life away. Come on, back up. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Last step. And the last step is to pop up the room. And that's done. Other than moving in. And now I've got shelter, even though I love being outside and in the environment. Um, yeah, I don't like the yellow flies or any other biting insects I want in my blood. So that's so much easier than setting up that tarp last night. This is from now on, and see, she's already wanting to go in there. And that tarp is uh, giving away. The rooftop tent still right there with the air conditioner set up in uh see see the air conditioner right there. Um I don't know if I I kinda like this workbench right here. Um serving handy, but it's a lot of weight. 
The kitchen's still back here. It's working out really good with the refrigerators and all that. But this social tent, we should have a lot different experience tonight with the with the yellow flies. I found out they're not out all the time. They're just uh, a little bit right at sunset, just before sunset, a couple hours. Uh, the silver tarps keep some of that solar energy out. It's like upper 80s right now. And inside the social tent, I just got a little fan to keep a warm mosquito coil going. Uh, my shelf right there, the air conditioner is cooling the room down. It says it's uh, like 60 degree air coming out of there right now with that door open. All the windows are shut with the vinyl. And of course my chair. And my buddy, and it's going to get ready for go for a walk. I think this tent would be unbearable if not for this. It's very comfortable inside there. Um, certainly not 60 degrees. I don't have an extra thermometer to put in there, just kind of see what the average air temperature is. But without that reflective tarp, that would be unbearable in there. Got to keep that solar energy reflected off the skin. Dish drying. I use the solo. And of course the fire pit that comes with the campsite. I just got new neighbors, two sites down. But otherwise, we're still enjoying a very quiet weekend. Very few people out here uh, during the week. So, that's that.